Hello everyone, welcome to my penny go boom. Today is yet another um, chart video here on VIIC. We're looking at the one day chart here. Each one of these uh, candles represents one day of price action. So today, um, you know, we saw our first uh, red day and, uh, you know, literally a monstrous move. And, you know, that was coming sooner or later. People were going to take some profits. But let's look at the overall picture here. The overall picture, um, you know, for as, as high as we've gone up here, this really, you know, we only, we dropped, uh, you know, we did drop 21% today, but uh, we are sitting on, uh, let's, we're, we are sitting on some, some, some support levels. Now, like I said in uh, yesterday's video, that, you know, a lot of times when the price approaches the, um, let me zoom out so you see it better. Once a price price of, uh, approaches this 200-day simple moving average right here, this red line, a lot of times people do step in and take profits. Um, and that's exactly what happened today. But overall, um, you know, we're you know if you if you bought in down here or even over here, even here, you know, you know you're still up on you're still up on your investment. So um, again, you know, we are sitting at the support level. Let's take a look at the um, let's take a look at the 15 minute chart here. So this is just uh, this right here, this little area. This is for today's action. You know, we came out of the gates just completely swinging. It's bang, 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 bang. Just, you know, like I said, you know, riding that upper Bollinger Band. You know, when, when you're riding that upper Bollinger Band, uh, you know, that, you know, we you can continue to see the price go. But then, you know, halfway through the day here, um, you know, we started to see some profit takers really step in. Uh, and just started taking profits. You know, um, you know this. The big resistance going into today, like I said, was the 0394 area right here. Um, again, broke through it, and then we came down. The the price did fight in this area because you can see here from yesterday's action that a big support was at 0305. Um, again, that was broken as well. But you know, let's let's focus here on where we are now. We are um, seeing here that there were some nice buys that did come in here towards the end of the day. But we are currently sitting at 0232. And, uh, you know, this this uh, support slash resistance here at 0246. Um, this is where this is where we need to hold going forward. And, again, overall, you know, it's okay. You know, we, ha we had a red day. What are you going to do about it? It's, it, it's a stock market. People are going to take profits. So, you know, looking forward, um, let's take a look. Let's take, oh, on, here we go. Let's take a look going forward. Um, you know, tomorrow, you know, tomorrow, if we can hold this uh, line here, if the longs can stay here, buy some shares, um, you know, maybe we can continue to get this, this moving back up. But, you know, there was some, you know, I, I don't want to call this consolidation, but, you know, there was some nice, you know, during the selling today, you, you, you have to, you have to, you have to anticipate a move like this. So tomorrow, um, you know, could go either way, but let you know. Let's just focus on holding the support here, uh, getting back to 0242, and then moving forward from there. Uh, and the overall picture here, the MACD still looks good, guys. Um, you know, don't don't freak out quite yet. Um, the MACD still does look good. Um, it's, an, it's a good indicator. And the RSI, you know, a lot of people have been talking about the RSI. You know, RSI is now at 68. It's reset itself nicely. So, you know, tomorrow, if the buyers can st step in at the ask, you know, um, the chart is primed to reset and ready to move back up in a north direction. Again, um, do, you know, do, don't freak out. You know, you know, we see a red, you know, in my opinion, it's not time to freak out if you bought in around here. So uh, let's see what happens tomorrow. Um, the stock has a lot of potential. Once once we do, in fact, break this line here at the 200-day moving average um, and hold above it, you, I mean, I, I anticipate some pretty good gains. Um, it's going to, it's you know, it's going to continue on its beast mode. So, again, uh, I know a lot of people got, you know, pretty emotional today. Um, so... Again, just uh, hold hold strong in there, in my opinion, and uh, you know, you know, make your own decisions. But uh, we do we do have this nice support here. And then the next support under that is at O, uh, the next large support at O two O six. But then again, uh, you know, hopefully we don't get back down there. But I think we can hold this hopefully here at O two three two O two four two, and then continue to move north. All right, good luck to everyone.